Hey there, John Chorby here from ReallyEasyGuitarLessons.com and in this video lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play the vocal melody for Hey Jude by the Beatles on the guitar. So this is what I call my Really Easy Riff series um, and it's designed for the beginner guitar player, either the beginner who is brand new, doesn't even really know any chords yet, or even if you've you know worked on some songs, you've learned some chords, you're playing through things and you find yourself a little overwhelmed or burnt out with the complexity of the things that you're learning, oftentimes in those situations I highly recommend to students that they just learn something very easy, simple to get their mind around to give themselves a quick win, all right? So I'm gonna show you a couple different ways that you can play this vocal melody, and it's great. Learning vocal melodies is a great thing for the guitar player because it really gets you thinking in music and getting you to apply that music on the guitar. So let's jump in and get started. All right, so the first version that I'm gonna show you is gonna be all played on one string. It's gonna be played on the D string. I'm gonna play it along with the metronome and then I'll break it down for you. All right, let's break that down. Again, it's all on the D string. Everything we're playing on the D string, and I'm not gonna be a finger stickler here, so if you wanna just use one finger, if you wanna use a combination of fingers, whatever you need to do to get the job done, okay? Just be thinking about how it sounds, right? Keep the lyrics and the melody in your mind, okay? I'm gonna break this into little chunks. So the first chunk is, hey Jude, don't make it bad. Again, all on the D string. 10, seven is the hey Jude, and then seven, 10, 12, five is don't make it bad. 10, seven, seven, 10, 12, five. So this is the way you wanna work through this, just in very, very small chunks. The next part, take a sad song and make it better. So that's starting on the fifth fret. This is where we, where we ended, right? Five, seven, eight, take a sad, and then the big jump all the way up to the 15th fret. Take a sad. And then, and make it better with the better key, this little vocal thing, little vocal uh, trill thingy. 15, 14, 10, 12. So here I feel like it makes sense to use like your middle and your index on 15 and 14. 10, use your index and your ring on 12. Then you can just drop your index down to the 8 and 7. So coming from here, 5, 7, 8, 15, 15, 14, 10, 12, 10, 8, 7. The next part, remember to let her into your heart. Do that again. Ten, twelve, twelve, that's remember. Then to let her, big jump from twelve to seventeen now. So if you have an acoustic that doesn't have um, a cutaway on it. Um, it might be tricky to get up to this note. 17, 15, 14, 15, 12, 10. The next part is then you can start to make it better.
Do that again. So you're going to jump down to three on the D string. Again, everything's on the D string. Three, five, seven, twelve, ten. And 10, 8, 7, 2, 3. All right, and here's the second way that you can play this. We're going to play the exact same notes, right? So the notes are the same. This is why I like teaching this is because you're getting to see how these intervals between notes how they can be arranged on the guitar. This is what makes guitar confusing. You know, piano, everything's in a straight line. So when you're playing on one string, it's very piano-like because it's in a straight line. But as you've experienced, if you've just gone through that, you have to make these big jumps. And if you don't have, you know, a cutaway on your acoustic, it might be hard to get to the higher frets. But by starting, by doing it on one string and then doing it in a way that's more economic and ergonomic, you can make the, you know, the relationship between, you know, the melody sounds like this on one, one string, but here's how you find those same notes in close proximity to each other. So this version of it, it's all going to be played in the open position. So I'm either using open strings, the first fret, the second fret, or the third fret. Here's how it goes. All right, let's break that down the same way that we did it on one string, just in little chunks. So, hey, Jude, don't make it bad. It's going to sound like this. So, actually, before we get started, when we're playing in the open position, here's what I recommend. Anything that you play on the first fret, use your first finger. Anything you play on the second fret, use your second finger. And anything you play on the third fret, use your third finger. There's going to be one instance here where we're going to have to do uh, what I call the rolling technique, but I'll point that out when it comes to it. So, first thing, hey, Jude, don't make it bad. Okay, it's first fret B string, second fret G, and then second fret, we reverse that, second fret G, first fret B, third fret B, open G. Next section, take a sad song and make it better. Again. Open two in the G, and then three of the G. Take a sad, and then jump to the first fret of the E. One open, one of the B, then three of the B, one of the B, and then this quick at the end. Actually, actually, one, three, two. One of the B, three of the, three and two of the, uh, the G. The next part, remember to let her into your heart. Do that again. Okay, so here's where we're gonna do this little rolling thing. So first fret, and third fret of the B for remember. And then to let, I'm gonna use, so on the two right here, this note right here, three of the B to three of the E, because it's on the same fret, we're gonna use the same finger. So when I play that three of the B string, I'm on the tip of my finger. And then when I go to play three of the E string, I roll my finger back to play three of the E string. And then one, open, one of the E, three of the B, one of the B. Do that again. Okay, 
and then the last phrase of it. Then you could start to make it better. All right, so three open, three of the D, open two of the G, three one of the B. One of the B, three, two of the G, and then again another roll. So I, I'm on a two of the G with my middle finger, and then I roll it to two of the D and finish with three of the D. So whether you're doing the one string version of this or the open position version of it, work in small chunks like I showed you, break it down to small little sections, get the melody in your ear, be able to sing it, be able to hear it in your ear before you play it. If you have to think in, you know, in tab or what string or what fret you're on when you're first starting, that's totally fine. But once, you know, you've removed the need for the video or the tab, again, you want to be thinking in the melody. You want you want either the caveman sounds of the melody or the lyrics in your head as you're trying to play. It's gonna do wonders for your overall musicianship. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.